In this episode, I'll show you how to color grade using Capture One. On the left is the image without color grading and on the right is what we are trying to achieve. In this basic color grading in Capture One, we'll make use of the color editor and the color balance. What's up Charlie? My name is Don Alabi and this is Ghana Near Photography. This is a channel for photography tutorials, including behind the scenes, light setups, retouching, and other photography related content. If this is the kind of content you are looking for, then you should consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. Kindly like and share this video so the algorithm pushes it out to more people. This image has been retouched in Photoshop already. If you want to learn how I retouch my images in Photoshop using frequency separation, I'll include a link in the description so you can check it out after watching this video. The image on the left is our image after retouching without color grading. And what's on the right is what we are trying to achieve in Capture One. So let's get straight to business. As I stated earlier, we are going to be using the color editor and the color balance. With the color editor, we are going to be using the advanced tab. First of all, we want to change the color of the shots over here. The first thing we do is we come to the color picker over here and then click on this to select that color range. So if we come down here and we click on view selected color range, everything else which is not selected is grayed out. And then we have only the color we've selected. So since it's only the shorts that's in blue, we can increase the spectrum. So we capture every color within that blue spectrum. So let's go out of this and then we come to hue and then slide it. To the left, we get something towards teal, which is here. And then to the right, we get something towards blue and pink, which is this. This is not what we are looking for. We want that teal kind of thing. And this goes either negative 30 or positive 30. Capture One did it that way so that you don't go overboard. It wants your adjustments to be realistic. So with this, I think I like the color over here. So we leave it like that. Now we can go to saturation and then decrease it or increase it. I don't think I would want to do anything here. So just double tap on it and it will reset it for you. Lightness. You see the difference? So if you move it to the left, it's darker. You move it to the right, it's lighter. So you choose the right balance that works for you. So if you double tap, it resets it for you. So I think I would want it to be a bit deep. So we go this way. Yes, so this looks good to me. So basically, we are done with color grading the shots over here. So let's move to the other tab, which is a color balance. And with a color balance, we are going to work on the white backdrop and the overall feel of the image. So with that, we go to this. Now I would want to work on the highlights first. First thing is, um, if you're color grading, you should already have a roadmap. You should have, you know, like what you want the outcome to be planned in your head. You should know about color harmonies and all that. So in the highlights, I want to place cooler colors in there. So let's click on this and then move somewhere here towards blue because I want to cool down the highlights. So let's option click on this reset to temporarily reset it. So you see, this is before, this is after. So we've reduced the warm colors in the highlights. So if you look at the background, which is white, if we option reset, see it's a bit warm here and this place, it's a bit cool. And then now in the shadows, since we've cooled down the highlights, I would want to go opposite in the shadows. So I would want to add some warmth to the shadows. So something like this. You can easily get carried away when moving these sliders. So from time to time, you will have to option reset so that you will see where you're from and where you're ending at. So this is before, this is now so far. I think I'm liking it, but the 
the warm colors in the shadows appear to be too much so let me just reduce it once you've noticed where you want it to be you can use this to either go up or down and then you can use the luminosity also to make it either bright or dark see too much too much so if you want that faded look you can just take it up here like this and then the same thing for the highlight see if we take it up we brighten it up too much we darken it up too much it doesn't look realistic now if you double tap here also it resets it for you so i think this looks okay for me so let's option reset this is before this is after before and after i think the shots look too light for me so i'll come back here and then reduce the lightness a bit more to make it darker so let's check before and after before after yeah i think this is looking good it matches with her skin tone so this gives you the uh, like this um orange and teal vibe because we have orange in her skin tone and we have we've added teal to her shorts this is very very complimentary if you don't know about complimentary colors you should check color.adobe.com you'll be able to learn some color theories over there i have another video on how to create the orange and teal kind of vibe i'll include a link in the description so you can check it out after watching this video if you made it this far kindly hit the like button okay looking at this image once again i think the fading is a bit too much so let's come here and drop this fading back because it's taking the black out of her top so let's reset this okay so this is reset and then let's raise it up just a bit like right here color grading is all about just that slight adjustment if your color grading is very noticeable it means you've overdone it so always take note just this slight movement that you know make your color grading game a1 if you notice we've not touched the mid tone because i i have no need for it in this scenario so with this let's create a clone of this and then reset it so we can have a before and after of this so on the left is what we've achieved within this short time and on the right is our image from the beginning if this has been helpful to you don't forget to like the video and share it with someone you know may benefit from it i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for watching